Namaste. Albert Einstein, the greatest genius and scientist of the 20th century, said, Imagination is more important than knowledge. For imagination, for knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the world, stimulating progress giving birth to evolutions. Imagination is not something reserved for poets and writers. All of us have it and use it. When we use it destructively, we create fears, worries and phobia. When we use it constructively, we create great arts, inventions and achievements. In this way, let us discuss about the constructive use of imagination. How it greatly helps us to change ourselves and how it helps to achieve great dreams. Whoever wants to make a great change can, the, can use the power of creative imagination. Successful people use imagination by way of mental pictures and mental rehearsal of actions. Napoleon Bonaparte in his youth imagined himself as a commandant and he drew many maps of island Kasika showing where he would place his various defenses in detail. He imagined himself leading a great army and succeeding. The poor boy became a French emperor and created history. Edward McGoldrick, founder of New York's Alcoholic Therapy Bureau in his ni in 1940s <coughs> used this technique in helping the alcoholics from changing their old self to new self. Every day he instructed them to close their eyes and relax themselves as far as possible and create a mental motion picture of themselves seeing themselves as they would like to be. In these mental motion pictures, they would see themselves as sober and responsible persons. They would see themselves actually enjoying their life without alcohol. This method showed a very good success rate and others began to follow this method. Let us see the method and mechanism behind it in detail. First, you must have a very clear target. What do you want to be? What do you want to change in yourself? It must, it must be specific and you must know it in detail. Says, set aside a period of 30 minutes each day when you can be alone and undisturbed. Relax and make yourself 
as comfortable as possible. Now close your eyes and exercise your imagination. See the result as if you are seeing a motion picture in your mind screen. The mental pictures should be as vivid and detailed as possible. Pay attention, attention to the smallest details, sights, sounds and objects in your environment. See yourself acting and reacting appropriately, successfully and ideally. You don't worry what happened yesterday. How you acted yesterday. You need not worry whether you will be able to do that tomorrow. Your nervous system will take care of it in time if you practice it daily. If you have been shy and timid, see yourself moving among others. With ease, poise and with good feelings. If you, have been, if you have been anxious and fearful in certain situations, see yourself acting confidently and courageously, calmly and deliberately. This exercise builds new memories or stored data in your midbrain and central nervous system. It builds a new image of yourself. After practicing it for some time, you will be surprised to see yourself acting differently. More or less, spontaneously and confidently without trying. Because the imagined practice is as equivalent to the actual experience in so far as your central nervous system concerned. It works like a magic. This method is successfully used by Olympic champions, experts in behavior change therapy and highly successful entrepreneurs all over the world. You can also try and create this magic in your life. We shall discuss more about the process of change next Wednesday. Thank you.